and you may notice it looks very similar to the APL20 and that's because it, it, they're, they're the same family. This is just a, a little bit taller to give you more space. And one of the great things I love about this thing, it is a true dual zone. We have been using this on this trip uh, with the larger compartment here. It's uh, 27 liters, I believe. Uh, with this compartment set as a fridge, set to 34 degrees. And we've had the smaller compartment here, which is uh, eight liters, I believe. Uh, adds up to 35. Uh, this has been a freezer. And in this, we've been keeping uh, some ice cream sandwiches that I found up in Oregon, which are incredible. Uh, popsicles, Uncrustables for lunch, um, multiple popsicles. And it's just really cool to be able to have, you know, frozen stuff. At camp it's real nice and I, I like that this is a slightly a smaller compartment you don't have to run this as a fridge this can be a refrigerator you can just use this maybe as a as a drink carrier because you can put uh, you can put cans in there small Gatorade bottles uh, no problem so let's run through the specs on this real quick uh, dimensions wise 27 inches this way 14.4 this way 15.7 uh, inches high. It is all aluminum construction. Uh, nice uh, corner guards here. Beefy latches that uh, do a great job of, of securing the lid down. Spring-loaded handles. Uh, we've been using this, you know, having it strapped down on the back of the Gladiator. Uh, these keep it nice and secure. And one of the great things about this are the hinges. Now, I've got the APL55 in the back of my Gladiator, and I love that one because it has a soft closing lid. If you, if you raise the lid all the way up and let it go, it, it doesn't just smack down, it, it slowly comes down. Well, this one one-ups that, and it has a stay-in-place lid. So it, it, you can raise it up, and it's not gonna come smack down. So if you need both hands to get stuff out or, or you know find things in your fridge, that's real handy. It's, it's little things like that that, that make a difference. Um, and, and I love that Isco put that touch on it. Very nice rubber gasket around here to keep it airtight. Um, well, we have just been really, really impressed with this fridge. It is incredibly lightweight. It only weighs 32 pounds, which in the 35 liter fridge market, I, I do believe this is the lightest fridge on the market. And I, I, I think it's safe to say the best looking 35 liter fridge on the market. Isco is just knocking it out of the park with their fridge designs. Best thing I love about Isco, they use C-Cop compressors, same compressors used in, in all the top line of, of fridges uh, that are on the market, and they back it with a five year warranty, uh, which is tops in the 12 volt fridge um, industry five-year warranty on the compressor uh, if you ever have a problem. And I, I have had a problem with a, a, a different ISCO, a VL60 in the past, a, a VL60 dual zone. Uh, one, of the, one of the sides would not regulate temperature and just gave them a call and started the conversation with them. They fixed it. They sent me a new one. Um, so I've had good, um, good luck contacting their support because I've actually had to use it before and so you can't beat a five-year warranty on a 12-volt fridge and I generally believe that in the 12-volt fridge market Isco is the best bang for the buck you're gonna get I think nicer fridges with the same warranty for much less than Dometic, Snowmaster, um, ARB uh, those are some very expensive fridges and I think this is every bit as good, and they're a whole lot cheaper. Same compressor, same warranty. Um, I just absolutely love Iceco.